Okay, once you import uh, your sitemap into uh, Rhino, I will start to draw it. So I'll simply, I will double click the tab here. By doing that, this will just enlarge it. And then I'll use zoom to see, uh, zoom in and zoom out. I'll use a, hill, a scroll wheel. Oh, okay, I'll do. Okay. And I'll use right mouse button to pan. So here, uh, I'm going to uh, draw the boundary line. So I will, to do that, I will just use polyline. So I click this one, polyline. And then I just simply trace it. So roughly, I trans that, translate that. So I draw click uh, left top corner. Uh, and then somewhere here. And here. And here. And the right corner here. And somewhere corner here. And corner here. And then by selecting the first point I finished this one so this is done but the question is so this line is 250 uh, feet so we need to check so I'm going to use dimension and I'm going to use aligned dimension to measure this uh, oblique line so I select one point to the another point I'll measure that then actually this one is actually 17 inches so we want to first of all we want to change that um, we want to change that this one into inch to fit so now it's a kind of it should be uh, 255 inches so what I'm going to do now let's calculate it so now actually this one is inches now so what I okay so let's use calculator okay so originally it's supposed to be 250 feet and then actually this one is in inches so actually I need to multiply 20 and then I will divide by 17.34 so then actually the scale is 173 so I will scale up 173 so I'll select everything and then I'll use scale function origin point I will use 0 here and then scale factor I type 173 and I simply enter then actually it become really large and then I will I will just unclick it and I will check what is the unit it's at 3000 okay let's check one more time okay we also want to change dimension style and dimension to change the dimension style I will select a uh, dimension and dimension style and then uh, there's a dimension if you click this plus button there's a default so here I'm going to use feet and inches and then text height I think at least we have to use at least uh, 24 this one is inches probably so two feet and then I will draw I will draw one more aligned dimension and click here and click another one here and let's say this one is 250 feet now Okay, so this is how to draw sketches and match scales.